Hello everyone, welcome back to Betrayer. Between the ending of the last episode and the beginning of this one, I managed to find the bell. It's right over there. So, since the bell was not at the lone cabin, I was figuring, okay, it's probably somewhere in the woods. And indeed, it is. I was just exploring around the outskirts of the, uh, the mountains up here. And I came upon the Trapper's Camp. So, let's check it out. Exceptional charm of soldiery. Oh my god, I've been look I've been trying to buy a charm of soldiery. But I guess I don't need to. Reload muskets, pistols, and crossbows 20% faster. That is amazing. I actually want to test it right now. That is noticeably faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have shot my bolt there. I can't even get it. Damn it! Man, why can't I go prone? You must believe me that it was Tabitha Markley that I saw. She was standing in a clearing. The trees around her, all withered and dead, and dark spirits danced about her. I believe you. Okay, anything else around here? I feel the urge to look for more things to dig up. I know I've missed many of them. Just think of all the things. All of the exceptional charms. So charming. All the weapons. <gasps> the amazing weapons. Well, I'm going to have to help some more spirits, so maybe in the course of doing that, I'll find some new stuff. I feel like my view distance is much shorter than it used to be. It's very foggy. I don't know, maybe it's always been like this. remember you. Let me take a sip of my tea first. Mmm. Nothing like some delicious tea before cleansing corruption and an ear-piercing scream. Come on, bring it on. Hug the tree. Uh, where? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're hugging the tree too. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is too slow. This is actually going quite poorly. Reload my powerful stuff. Quickly. Come on, come on. Okay. I actually cleansed the corruption when there are still enemies on me, which means I think some of the enemies I got were not from clearing this, but from something else. Either there's something valuable over here that they were protecting, or... Maybe I just came across a group of them, because they're kind of randomly spread throughout the, the lens. Quality Charm of Grace. Probably increases my movement speed, right? 
Oh no, 12% harder to hear and see? I don't care. I'd jump around like a jackass. I don't care about being hidden. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything valuable over here that they were protecting. Because sometimes there's groups of enemies around important stuff. Doesn't appear so. Alright, let's go. This way. Yeah, the weird whiteness to some of the edges of some of the foliage always makes me think, Oh my god, it's a skeleton! Because that's what makes skeletons stand out, is they're very, very white. This is actually very bad. I don't have any more healing. Shit, I missed. Alright, forget that. Okay, I need to buy stuff. Yeah, hold more pistol rounds, that's fine. 25? Sure. More? Sure. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything else with my money, so whatever. Pistol load, let's buy a bunch. Short bow and especially crossbow. Okay. Need to be a bit more careful. That was too close for comfort. Must make more use of trees. you on the ground. I wonder if you shoot an arrow in the world and you save your game and you load back in. I wonder if the arrow will still be there. Like... That. I wonder if that arrow will still be there in my save data. Huh. Was your head taken from you? Of course, I will return it. Oh, one of you.
And the forest is so dark and endless. Go home. Chesty. Hug the tree. Carrier's musket. Harrier's musket. Hmm. How does it compare to the commander's musket? Less damage. Uh, the reload speed's much faster, though. This is very slow. This is moderate. And the crossbow is also... Oh, the crossbow is actually slow. Hmm. It does a lot less damage, but it is faster at reloading. Let's test it out. <laughs> that animation looks kind of silly, because it's obviously the exact same animation, but just sped up. Now, nah, I'm gonna stick with my Guardsman's Crossbow. I'm thinking maybe I should go with the Warrior's Shortbow. More damage might be better. Because I, I have to take a lot of time to aim my shots, really. I'm gonna try the Warrior's Shortbow for a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Where is she? I must find her. Who? Amanute, the daughter of the Indian king. Where did you last see her? I only remember kneeling beside her, and brushing the hair from her face, thinking how beautiful she was. Who are you? Barnaby Burden. I found this necklace of feathers near the remains of a woman near here. I remember now. I was kneeling beside her, and brushing the hair from her face, thinking how beautiful she was, even in death. I stayed with her for a long time, and then I stood and stumbled away. I believe I found your skull. It has been oddly decorated, but I am grateful to have it back. I have a gift for you in return. You're very generous. Hunter's Longbow. Mm -hmm. 100 damage. 
Hmm. From very fast to average for 30 more damage. Don't think it's worth it. Maybe. Maybe it is. I'm pretty sure it's not, though. Where? Deserted encampment? It's closer. It doesn't know I'm here. I'm in a knife it. Oh yeah. One hit kill with a knife. Yeah, that's the first time I've actually tested it. A long t I guess it wasn't that long ago. It feels like a long time ago. Someone told me that you can actually stealth kill people instantly with a knife. If you... I think it's just if you attack them when they're unaware. Or if you attack them from the back, or, or maybe both at the same time, one of those. Let's test it. Again. But this is actually the first time I've ever done it. Don't see me. I couldn't kill him. I couldn't kill Barnaby Burden. Why did you want to kill him? I remember pulling his arm, telling him to come with me, saying we must hurry. Men are coming to kill James Markley, to punish him for sending those men to the haunted place. But Barnaby Burden pushed me away and ran to ring the bell. He was shouting to warn them. I started crying. I ran out the gate and down the hill. I heard him call my name, but I kept running. Is this your feather necklace? Yes. Then you must be Aminute. I remember. What happened after you ran from the fort? He chased me, calling my name. I kept running, but there was a bad smell, a bad place. I didn't want to go there. I knew Barnaby Burden was close, so I picked up a stick and hid myself. When he passed by, I attacked him. He took the stick from me, so I hit him with my hands. I bit him. He pushed me away, and I attacked him again. That is all I remember. Found a tree branch with dried blood clotted on the sharper end. Aminute attacked you with this branch. She flew at me from the underbrush, shrieking and howling. I tried to console her, but she was inconsolable. I pushed her away, but she kept lunging at me. And then suddenly, her fury ceased. I remember seeing that the branch was stuck into her. She had impaled herself on it as she flung herself at me. She was gasping. She looked so frightened, so vulnerable. I had never seen her like that. Great sorrow washed over me. I pulled the branch free, but... But it had caught in her entrails. They came snaking out of the wound. It took a long time for her to die. I stayed with her until the end. You have to go. I wish I'd let Aminute lead me away from the fort. That we'd fled into the woods, running until we couldn't continue, and falling to the ground side by side. I wish I could kneel beside her, brushing the hair from her face, thinking how beautiful she is, a full of life. All wraiths released. I think it's time to go. Go confront Tabitha. But 
there's still something. Perhaps some corruption that needs to be cleaned out. Wait a minute. That said all wraiths are released. In that case, who are you? Yeah, I haven't released her, so what the hell? You must not remain here any longer. I wish I could hurt Barnaby Burden as he heard me. All souls released. Oh, at peace versus released. I guess there's a difference, apparently. Wait a minute. The maiden in red didn't follow me here. Strange. What's her name again? Was it Allison? I know it started with an A. With an A. I'm actually gonna look that up. Yeah, Allison Markley. Hmm. Let's go speak with her. I just knifed her chest, <laughs> which apparently does nothing. I actually meant to press F, but I pressed E instead. Whoops. Sorry. I've learned the fate of a wraith. Barnaby Burton killed Aminute, though it seems he did not mean to. I imagine there can be no greater grief. I have a gift. This feather necklace that belonged to Aminute, daughter of the Indian king. I remember her wearing it. Why are you giving it to me? Um, to honor her memory, for she died tragically? Then I shall treasure it, though, though there was never any chance that I would forget her. I freed them all. Her fury has lessened. Perhaps it is enough that you can speak to her like you spoke to the others. Perhaps you can discover what keeps her here. Perhaps you can set her free. We are about to find out. How's my ammo? Ammo's looking good. Could use some more pistol rounds, although I seriously doubt I'm going to go through all 16. It is time. It's not a pleasant sound. Fuck, I missed.
Oh god. What the hell? This thing had two heads. Oh god, I'm stuck. Shit. I'm fucking stuck. Fuck. Get me out. Oh, thank god. Do not jump in between rocks. Bad idea. Okay. I think that's the extent of her wrath for me at the moment. Tabitha? Father. He is gone. I betrayed him. No. He betrayed you. Then why am I being punished? You cannot undo what was done. You must surrender your regrets and be at peace. I only want to forget. To forget that my child is dead inside me. Never to be born. I long to sleep without dreaming. Never to awaken. Then forget and sleep. For you must not remain here. I cannot be free. She will not let me. Allison? I want to fall into darkness, never to surface, but she won't release me. Then I must convince her to. Allison is keeping her here? How? Whoops, I went to the wrong spot. You spoke to her? It seems she is bound here by you. We were born together. Must we also die together? No, I don't think so. But how can she be freed while I live? You must release her. How can I? She is my sister. I cannot scour her so easily from my memory. Nor would I, for I would rather die than forget her. You don't have to forget her. Then what must I do? You must say goodbye to her. I... I think I understand. Very well. I am ready to leave when you are. Wait, what? Why does it say, an attack? I will join you when I get an attack, in attack, what? We're not attacking anything. An attack? I will join you when I can? Be careful. Don't worry. An attack? What? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, we are being attacked is what that throwaway line of dialogue said with no other indication other than a piece of text that said an attack? Okay. It's rather strange. I'm sure this attack will test my abilities to the utmost limits. Whatever will I do?
That is maybe one of the most awkward ways I've ever seen to say that we are being sieged. A line of dialogue that makes it look like it wasn't even meant to be there. And seemed like they had made an error in the text. I was like, an attack. What? <laughs> like, we're having a conversation, there's no indication that an ambush has happened. Like, no noise or anything. Okay, I think I need some more arrows. Yeah, more short bow arrows. Oh. It's cleared up. Kind of. I mean, it's still still all black and white and weird looking, but it's not as menacing as it was before. I guess at this point she's like over anger. It's just that she can't leave. Tabitha Markley, beloved sister. I'm glad to see you safe. I laid her to rest. I thought I should be the one to do it. You've already done more than enough. It never occurred to me that I would have to live without her someday. Or that I could. I mean, we were always inseparable. Did I mention we were twins? I wish, I wish it could have been me. That I had been the one to suffer in her place. That she had lived. Please. Forgive me. For what? Uh... <laughs> that twist ending. Well, of course you can't have a happy ending in a game like this, right? Alright. Well, I'm gonna split my thoughts on this game off into a separate video. So, in the meantime, just wanna say thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of... Betrayer.